so uh, in this video uh, let's talk about this uh, inverse Laplace transformation uh, which is uh, not very easy one so uh, and uh, somehow it may involve in a complex analysis okay so uh, let's see so we are uh, so before I start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So the v, uh, this problem say that uh, we need to compute the inverse Laplace transformation of 1 over square root of s plus 4. Okay, so let me just uh, quickly recall that uh, definition. So the definition of the inverse, uh, sorry, definition of a Laplace transform. Suppose we have a function of t, f of t, then the divided by 0 to infinity exponential minus s of t, f of t, dt. Okay, so the key is that we, okay, so the, this, this is the method one. So method one is that we hope to find uh, uh, something which uh, you can get uh, this answer. Okay, so, so naively, uh, let's say one over, let's first check one over square root of t and see what we get. So we get zero to infinity minus s of t, exponential minus s of t, one over square root of t dt. Then, then we can use a, a transformation that omega equals square root of t. So let's say this is 0 to infinity exponential minus s omega square and uh, 1 over omega. So omega square is t, right? So 2 omega d omega, which is dt. So 2 omega d omega. Okay, so this is uh, 2 0 to infinity exponential minus s omega square d omega. Okay, and uh, we know that this is the Gaussian integral, so the answer will be uh, square root of pi divided by s. Right? Okay, so uh, what we get is what? So uh, we so what we get now is that, uh, let's see, so what we get the square uh, Laplace transform of 1 over square root of t uh, will give you square root of uh, square root of pi divided by s. Okay? So now we have a shift theorem, right? So we can use the shift theorem and tell you that's Laplace transformation of. Uh, okay, so let's see. So, let's, so from here, from here, we know that the inverse Laplace transformation of one over square root of s will be one over square root of pi, Laplace, uh, uh, t, right? We just you you take the uh, inverse and uh, re uh, remove this constant pi. So you get here. And then you use a shift theorem, so you then the inverse Laplace transform one over square root of s plus four, plus four, right? So you just times something, uh, times negative minus four t, one over square root of pi t. Okay, so uh, this is a method one that uh, if you know, if you, you can try this, and then if you think if you find it's okay, then the, it's very good that you you get it. Okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, there, are, uh, there is a complex analysis way to uh, give the proof. Uh, but I think it's so complicated, so uh, I will not I will not talk about here. So yeah, so let's you only use a method one. I mean, there's a method to to which you can use a complex analysis, but it's just too complicated. So uh, I won't, I don't want to put in this video. Okay, see you guys.